Thank you all for joining me and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. So now that we've got the optimizers to uh, improve production and stuff like that, we've actually got those ones. I only got one of each. I didn't realize that you could put three in each one. Uh, I believe it's uh, Restore Help. Huh? Restore Health. What does that mean? Heat Multiplier Fuse. I don't think that's supposed to be there, is it? Restore health. Power multiplier. That's 150%. Uh, the production is only uh, 0.25. So that's going to be at 0.75 for production. So we're just going to do one of those, uh, kind of test it out sort of thing. We've got the oxygen multiplier. We've just got to work out where to put these. Now, I have actually sent up uh, the rocket again to get two more of each. Uh, because obviously, uh, we are going to, you know we're going to need to actually fill them up so we're going to have to wait on that now the thing is though i've got the blueprints that i actually added with the fabric and that uh, but they haven't disappeared usually all the others disappeared uh, so we're going to do that now i'm just going to go and uh, do this unless it's because i've got to do this first i don't know i can't remember so we've now got the three by three uh we've now got the uh the bed which is definitely going to come in handy later on when we do our living quarters uh we've now got the customizable uh sofa so we can change what color we want it to which is always good uh and we've also got the smart fabric uh, i'm just going to quickly go and check to see if those have disappeared because i don't think you need to just keep getting that fabric all the time do you uh now the fabric wise let's go to let me just it's a soldier man now. Let's go to one of these. Uh, now, we can automate that and get the fabric. I don't think we could sell that, though. I don't believe that's on the list for selling stuff. Um, uh, what's it called? Smart fabric. I'm not sure what we need. I think it's going to be for the new furniture and stuff like that. So I don't know whether we want to opt out and automate that. It might be a good idea to do that uh, and then just have that stored here. Uh, so, where was I? Right, yeah, so, uh, I need to find where the obs the obsidian is, because we're going to need some of that today. Now, I'm just wondering, because we're only, we're only going to do one of each. Now, we've got the e energy, so I'm going to test that out. I might as drink, well drink that water that I've got on me. Uh, so, hold on, let me just remind myself of what I need for that. I know I need the, yeah, we're going to need... Uh, uranium rod so we're gonna need free obsidian uh, i'm just gonna try and find the obsidian of where i'll put it it's not in this one yeah this is the only problem with having so much stuff like this there we go so we need three of these one two three uh we're gonna need two explosive powders if i can f remember where they are that's where the seeds are explosive powders i think they are Need a uranium rod anyway, so we'll grab that. Explosive powders. Where are they? Where did I put them? I know they're here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, dear. I don't think they're there. We've probably gone past them somewhere. Explosive, they're here, look. So we need two of those. I think that's it just for the one. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to do the energy one first, because uh, the energy one, we look at the energy one, but it's the energy, 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 energy. So, uh, insert the fuse to an optimizer to boost performance of nearby energy generators. Okay, so that gives you a multiplier of 150%. Our trade value is 6,000. So you can sell those, but I don't think you can craft them though, that's the thing. Right, I need to find my way out now. Okay, we'll just go this way. Okay, so we need to go over to where the energy thing is to actually put this in. But before we do that, I'm going to go and check how much power we've got. Now, that's going to be 150% that we're going to be putting in there. So that's going to be, what, 300, 450% in total once we get the other fuses. So if we have a look at our power, uh, we've got 3,123. We need to try and remember that. 3,123. 2,123, okay, so if we place this somewhere here, 
kind of want to make sure it's kind of central to where this is. It's actually got quite a big reach on it. You can see there. Let's see where that reaches. Okay, so a little bit more maybe. So 3,123, I think it said. Okay, so we need to put the power one in there. The energy one in there. So if we put that in there, that's going to give us 150 power. So I'm just going to go this way, actually. So then, obviously, so it's going to be a total of uh, 450 extra power to save us having to make any more. Although we could still make some more, but I, I do like the idea of that as well. Uh, that might get nerfed. And look at that. We've got 8,913. So two more fuses in there. That's going to drastically increase the amount of power we're going to have available to us, which is insane. Uh, okay, now, I do want to concentrate on fabric and selling fabric as well. Uh, I know we're selling other stuff, but what we're going to be doing is if we go to the second floor, I think it is, the second floor, uh, this is basically going to be all just fabric, but we, it's just going to be a pain actually doing this, getting this all set up. So what we can do to actually increase that right now is actually place one of these down. Oh God, I've got to go and get all the stuff again. <laughs> okay, so... We can place one of those down and put the production on that and increase that and then get some and get more stuff going. I mean, we're going to have to do it for everything eventually, but we've got to start somewhere. Uh, so we need the obsidian. I can find the obsidian. I can't remember where it was. Do you know what would be a good idea? I think maybe putting little signs up on here uh, might be a good idea. To give me an idea of where everything is because there's quite a lot of stuff here and we've still got a lot more to add so one two three four five six i'm actually going to get uh, enough for two there in fact we need one two so one two three one two three we'll just do that for now so that's enough for what one two three so we've got enough for four there which means we're going to need the explosive powder. Which means we're going to need, what, eight of those? If I can find them. Yeah, I think we need to redo kind of this and do it a bit more organized, I think. It's okay having this all like this, but finding it every time. Unless I'm going to be using that stuff all the time, then yeah, it's not going to work out that well. So... Why have I got nitrogen on me? I'm not sure why I've got nitrogen on, on me. So I need one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's enough. So we just need four of the uranium rods, which I believe are not in there. <laughs> They're in the here. The uranium rod should be over here somewhere, kind of on one of these anyway, uranium rods. So we need four of those. One, two, three, and four four and then we can head back then and work out where we're going to place these as well so let's go back to so should i do it on the second floor i mean we could i mean i could always move it afterwards but it would be nice to actually increase the amount that these are actually giving out um because that unless it's only just for so the production is 200 seconds there so if I place this down, will it show me an increased amount? Now, that's something we need to test out, don't we? Uh, so let's place one down right now. I'm just literally going to just going to put it really just going to put it close here uh, just to test it out. So at the moment, that says 200 per second. So if we look at production, we put that in and that says 160 per second. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so that does work. Uh, I'm going to put that in a different place. We're going to put that more central uh, because that's actually going to speed that up. Once we get the other two, we can put those in there. So that's took 40 off there, wasn't it? 40 seconds. So once we've got the other two, that's going to take, what, another 80 off there. So that's only going to be 80 seconds per uh, to actually have these. The thing is, though, if we put a second one down, that's what I want to know. If we put a second one down close by... Ah, yeah, we could test that out. If we put a second one close by to see if we can get it down even further. That's interesting. Yeah, now we're going to have to wait for... Oh, I like the way that's actually done that. Uh, to see whether... Or unless... Uh, I don't know if that will work. Maybe the thought of that. But we could try it. I mean, there's no reason not to. 
we could try it because we can put that close by there and then just see whether when we put one in there we're gonna have to wait until we get one night obviously to see uh whether that will work and if so then we can order some more oh we're gonna have to wait for money but that's why i want to get my production up and running we're gonna have to wait for the money to go up so i can actually do the power oh sorry not the power heat we've actually got the heat in fact the farm would be a good idea as well i'll have to check that out to see i don't know if it'll work on that though i'm sure it would work on that right so we need the heat heaters okay so if we look at these heaters here it's actually generating how much uh well but it's actually doing pressure and heat so we could put two on here one for pressure although it's more heat than anything else so we could put the one here for heat so we could literally just stick it here it's actually enough room to just put it here like so uh so the heat there that that's actually generated is 4.53 4.53 for the heat okay so if we look at that now that's actually 113.25 on heat that's insane uh, so if we do the pressure well what are we using for pressure actually i know we've got the drills down there have we got enough to do another one to do the pressure i mean that's 100 that's 2500 percent 2500 percent uh but holy moly so yeah we could do the pressure as well I mean, that, that my GTA is going up really fast now. So we could do the pressure just down here a lot. Because we've got the drills here, haven't we? So let's place that down here. So if we look at these now, uh, we've got the pressure at 0.17 MPA. That's uh, 17 MPA. Uh, what was that one there? Let me just... Uh, 17... A minute. Have I got that right? Yeah, pressure. That's also doing heat as well. But obviously, it's more. Oh yeah, it's going to be more on that than the pressure because the drills, of course. So if we put the pressure in there, plus seventeen MPA. If I put the right one in there, pressure multiplier fuse. So why is that not working then? Okay, that's interesting. Why is that not increased? It? It's still 17, plus 17 MPA, so I don't get why that's like that. I mean, if we look at that, that does pressure, which is plus 800. Oh, hold on a minute. That's actually increased the pressure on those, but it's not increased the pressure on these, it doesn't look like. Interesting. Which is what you'd expect... I mean, we could do it. I mean, what you could do, you could sort of like do different things uh, depending on what you've got around. So you could have different fuses for each one. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty cool though. I do like this. Uh, it really just change everything around. Uh, let me just take that out in a minute. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up, because that, that heat's gone up pretty fast on quite a lot so if we go over to the the heaters now and that uh the pressure on this is actually well that was 200 it's 280 and it? it looks like is that 200 or 280 i think that's 280 mpa that's two I, honestly those are better than those uh drills okay so if we put uh the pressure one in there as well See, that's put it to seven, plus seven uh, UPA. So that's actually better than using that over there. So there is another one I want to do. Uh, well, there's two more. There's oxygen, and there's uh, oxygen, and there's also plants. Although I wouldn't mind doing the plants and uh, improving that. Uh, we are going to get some trees and that going around there all across here eventually. Uh, that's something that I'm going to be working on soon. Uh, so, yeah see in fact we need to do more crafters for fabric now let's go and just have a quick look at how that's going up there uh real quick while we're waiting for stuff to come so if we go to the second floor and have a look here because obviously we've got this here here we've got to wait for the other thing 
uh, but that's 160 per second so it'll be interesting to see if, if we actually put one in there and that takes it down so if you could have multiple of these in one place you could probably get that right down and it could be really quick although i could see that being changed if that's the case um right i need some food i can't get there now because i've got everything in the way okay i mean yeah so we've got this for fabric here uh, which is currently making fabric so if we increase that then we're going to need that to be crafting that up as well so we could have that going as well there we go and we'd also want that on supply uh that actually was actually if we get rid of that because we don't need both of those on there do we if we put that on fabric and there we go okay Hold on a minute, does it show you how fast perimeter? There, there, there is no speed on this one. There is no speed on these. That one seems to be doing it more than that one. I wonder if that's closer. Hold on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on a minute. It could be taking it from those over there, I just realized. Which are on supply. But these are not yeah okay we need to kind of move that then do you know what it'll be fine it'll be fine we've probably already got some stored up anyway uh it'll be fine at least we're going to get loads of fabric right so we're just waiting on uh that so yeah that's interesting either that's a bug or it's just not showing up oh it's back i didn't realize it was back so if we look here, look. Oh yeah, all the all the chips have gone now. That's it, because they were they were all still there. And I thought, oh, don't they usually disappear? But they they have gone. Okay, look how much more toe tokens we've got available to us left. Put in true value. <laughs> uh, so we can grab all those now. Let's put those on sort so we can see what we've got there. So this is going to be the test then. This is going to be the big test of how we can do this. So if we go to the second floor now and go to where this is. So at the moment, we've got those to 160 seconds. So if I put production in there. Okay, that's 133 seconds. Why is that 133? So if I take that out then. That's 160. If I put it in there instead, that's 133. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's 114. Okay, so if I got what? One, two. If I got three more, and then we'll see how far that goes. So I'm going to get three more if I can afford it. <laughs> so we're buying a lot of stuff here. We definitely need those tarot tokens coming in, don't we? A lot quicker. But we should be okay. We just need some more rockets coming in, I think. So if we go to the production, what did I say we needed? We needed one, two, three more. So one, two, three. How much would that be? 15,000. We've just, just got enough for that. Okay, cool. So let's launch that rocket. Um, we're just going to have to wait for that, unfortunately. Uh, what we can do is sort out the heat. So if we look at how much we've got there, and we can actually add those two heats that we've got there. Let's check how much power we've got. So we're at 8313.5. So heaters. Uh, sorry, no, power. And we can place those in there. We're not going to need to actually add any more for a while of these, you know. So if we put those two in there, that's going to increase our power quite a lot. Uh, grab you. Might as well. Okay, so we need to go to the first floor. Let's check the power. I'll tell you what, let's just drop that off there, shall we? And let's check the power now. Holy moly. 43,953. Yeah, I think that's going to get nerfed. I think that's going to get nerfed. But I think this is kind of more late game. 
uh, it's not quite, you know, sort of that sort of thing. Uh, uh, you know, for the like grind and stuff like that. And look at that GTA going up, and we haven't even put the heater ones in yet. In fact, let's go up there. Let's go up to the top uh, where the heaters are and add those. See, we've got one pressure and one heat. So we're probably going to need, I think we could do one heat and one pressure here, actually. So if I take the pressure off and we put the two heat in there. I mean, yeah, look at the speed of that going up now. That's insane. That is insane. This is definitely get nerfed. I just know it is. Jeez, that's insane. Um, but um, I'm going to do another one here, actually. We're going to put another one here for pressure because it seems to work better on the pressure here. Uh, we do need plants, actually. I need to work out where all my plants life is. Uh, let me... I can get over here. I've got a little glitch here where we can get over somehow. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab some more stuff to make some more because we've got uh, the oxygen and that to do as well. So if we get the obsidian. Three, one, two, three. We'll just get those three from now. Then we've just got to find the explosion, the explosive powder. Two, three, four, and I believe we have got them over in this one here. Yeah, we need two of those as well. There we go, sorted. Okay, so. So we need to do oxygen. Is it worth me doing oxygen now? I mean, look at the speed of that going up though. So. Although I was meant to chat the farm, wasn't I? Uh, oh, it's multiple. So if we look at the growth on that, plants, we could do one here for plants, actually. Yeah, we could actually do one here for plants. Yeah, it might be a good idea to do it there. Although, which, which one's the best for plants? I don't think it. Yeah, we could put one here for plants. Don't know why I'm going in there. That's I need water, don't I? Yeah, let's do one here for plants. Let's just have a look. That should cover everything there. See, we've got plants there and insects. I don't think we've got one for insects, though, have we? So if we put plants in there. Yeah, and that's done it. So that's at uh, 2.38 kilograms. Yeah, we're just going to have to work all this out to see which is best. See, that's going to go up pretty fast now. But I'm wondering if production is going to help with this, uh, with the farming. I don't know whether it will or not. I don't know whether it will or not. Right, let's go and check to see if we've got the other production, because I want to see how... How quickly we can get that uh, silk coming in and with the fabric and stuff like that and getting that crafted up. Uh, we will finish that eventually. We're going to have that going across there. Although, since we've had those optimizers, we're probably not going to need that many. Jeez. So, we're not going to have to worry about that for a while. See how much we've got. Yeah. Okay, I think 288 seconds. So, what have we got left now? So, we've got the oxygen multiplier where uh, i'm just trying to think of where that would, we would put that uh we've got the pressure one there as well so the pressure one i think we'll get a second one up there to do the pressure yeah that's what i was going to do on it yeah that's why that's originally what we was going to do so if we go to the heat one look uh the heaters uh and we'll put a pressure one here as well Let's just check this lock. Yeah, it's 280. Pressure, pressure, and pressure. Yeah, look at that. The speed of that going up, that's insane. That is insane. 
Uh, right, the oxygen. I'm just trying to think of where do we have oxygen? Uh, these, uh, would these be any good? Hmm. I'm going to take a down one. Uh, what floor are we on here? This is the pulsar, so we need to go one down. Where's the pulsar? Pulsar, pulsar, pulsar. Uh, God, I don't know where. Where's pulsar? Oh, we're already on pulsar, aren't we? So that is actually. Uh, so we need to go to five, I think. If I'm not mistaken. We need to go to floor five. If I can find floor five. Uh, it's the rocket and drones. There we go. Okay, so let's just check these. See, oh, that's insects. That's not oxygen. Right, okay. I'm not sure where to put the oxygen yet. I'll have to work that out. Uh, I've got those rocket things to go going. Wait a minute. Oh, it's because of the iridium rods. Yeah, that's why I switched those off for now. Because of the iridium rods. That is one thing we need a production on that. But I want to just test out. Uh, if we wait for those, I just want to test out those uh, rocket things. Uh, the production to see how far we can get that going down. Uh, the actual production of the silk so that we can actually produce more stuff. Now, the thing is that I don't think it will work with... The, it's not going to work with the crafters, that's the thing. It does show you that her parameter is 20 meters. Yeah, we need more money coming in now because of the way this is all working out. Let's have a look at what we've got at the moment. Uh, 20,000. Oh, has that come back yet? That must have come back then. Hold on a minute. Or is it just coming down now? Or is that how much we have left? But yeah, it's not quite here yet. It's not quite here yet. It must have purchased everything. Okay, so I'm just going to concentrate on that. We've still, like I say, we've still got the oxygen one there. I mean, that GTA is going fast. So I don't think we need to worry about that now. But the oxygen one, maybe it was a waste of time in buying the oxygen one. We have got a lot of trees in that over here that we could, so we could place them down there. Uh, for the oxygen, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. I'm probably going to get some of those farms and that, frog farms and stuff like that around where the storage area is as well. I'm going to get loads of trees and grass and that going around there just to make it look a bit nicer. So we have actually got a load of stuff around here. So we've got the... See, that's the oxygen there. So that gives you, what, 1.46. So we've got the trees over here as well. What does that give you? Are these the tier threes? I think these are the tier threes, aren't they? I mean, the oxygen on that is, uh, yeah. Let me just check this one. I think that's a tier two. Yeah, this is a tier three. Yeah, we need more tier threes, don't we? I think for now we could put one here and it might even reach that one. For now, we could put one here to increase the oxygen. That'll nah, be good. It's not going to take us long to get a thousand GTI. Jeez. Right. So we need to go and get some stuff for that then. We haven't got a teleporter here, so we're just going to have to make a home way back. But yeah, that GTI is going up silly fast. Yeah, the one thing I like about this, it gets dark, but it doesn't stay dark for very long, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't. Right, so, we need to go and get enough stuff. But should do another one, don't we? So, we need to go to storage. So, we are going to need some more stuff. 
We need the obsidian. I can't remember where that is. In here. There we go. All right, so we need three more of those. Uh, we need the explosive powders. So we need two of those. And we're also going to need uranium rods, which are in here. Uranium rods. So we just need one of those. Okay, and then we're just waiting on the rest of the stuff coming so we can check out the production and see how far we can get that down. If I can get more of that, because we can, yeah, we can do that and probably do that in the case as well to ramp up production to get like a uranium rod so we can sell loads of stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just wondering if we could do that with the farms. I don't think we can, but yeah, I don't think, honestly, I don't think it's even worth trying because there, there is no time on it. Oh, I'll have to double check that actually, uh, but there is no time on it, is there? So if we go to, we've got all the stuff that we need now, aren't we? So we need to go. Oh yeah, we need to go to the, so we can, if we go over here and sort the oxygen out then, just so we've got it, well, I mean, we're going to change it later on anyway. I'll probably pull it up near the storage because we're going to get a few tree, uh, tier three trees going there. Uh, but as you can see, look at that speed that DCI is going up. It's insane. Uh, but uh, we'll put this in here. By the time we get back, we should have the um, the actual uh, fuses that we need for the production of the cloth. And then we can get some more silk ones going. We'll get more crafters going. And we might even be able to get more you know, rockets going up uh, with the actual things as well. Okay, so if we place this here, look, let's have a look what we've got here. So if we just place this here, I want to see if I can actually get it to reach there as well. I don't know whether it will. I mean, we can put it in a place where it would, I guess. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Let's just put it here. Let's just put it here. So if we look at this, uh, the oxygen is 488. Let me just check on that one and see what that is, just in case it has reached. It doesn't tell you. That's 1.15. Okay. And that's 151. Yeah, that's all the same. It didn't reach that one, but I'm not that fast because we've looked at the speed of that GCI is going up. So I don't think we really need any more. I think mainly for the production more than anything else. But I wanted to just check it out anyway. And obviously, like I say, like uh, when you get to a certain stage, you could use those to increase and get things unlocked real quickly, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to go and check now and see if we can sort out that production. Now, I might leave it at that and have those two just run in uh, just to get the fabric sorted out i might add a couple more uh rockets so that we can actually get more money coming more terror tokens coming in a lot faster because we are going to need well I'm, i am going to need some more i, want, I am going to want some more of those uh in oh it's here a lot it's here i am going to need some i'm going to want some more of those fuses coming in Okay, so we've got those three there. Uh, how much money have we got? I think it's a, we've got 5,000. Jesus Christ, that went down pretty quick. So yeah, I mean, I know it's not the most, uh, uh, fabric isn't the most, you know, what you can get. But I mean, if we got, you know, the amount of money you can sell it for, I mean, we're gonna get 200 per rocket, but if we can actually improve that pretty quickly, then it's gonna and get quite a few of those rockets coming up and down, then yeah. Okay, so let's have a look here, right? So if I take that out, okay, so that's at 133. If we put that in there, that's at 114. Okay, so if we put all three of those in that one, that's at 80 seconds. So yeah, hell yeah. 80 seconds to make one fabric, uh, 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 sorry, silk. So you can do that then. You could put another one down and do that as well. Uh, the thing is though, is that reaching over there? I think that one is, no, it's not actually reaching over to this one. Uh, 
I want to just get over here so it's always up. Yeah, that should be. Why is that not working on that one? It's only working on these ones. See, that's 80 seconds. That's 80 seconds. These are all 80 seconds, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are 80 seconds. Uh, I've got stuck now. But they're still 200 seconds. So, but they should be reaching. Oh, it's a max of eight machines. I see. It's a max of eight machines. I've got it. Yeah, yeah I remember now. Yeah, so. Oh, optimization capacity, eight machines. So it can only do eight machines. Yeah, okay. So that's fair enough. So we've got two, four, six, eight there. And those two are doing those eight. Okay, I've got it now. Right, yeah, well, there we go. Anyway, guys, I am going to call it here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that rusty bell to be informed of future videos. And with that, take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video.